it's a lot are you ready to see this pack it's a lot oh my god this is for the thumbnail <laughs> that's a lot of books hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi my name is neha and i make videos related to books and welcome to a book haul because i can't stop buying books so yeah i am back with another mid to massive haul uh, bear in mind that this is over a period of two months but even then i know it's 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 quite a lot of books because but it had become my retail therapy for a month or so and a couple of them i i excused myself by saying that they're souvenirs because i was traveling but i just wanted to make one long book haul video because i've missed doing that and uh, I'm hoping to be back on a book ban. Um, I've already, I already thought I was, but then yesterday I bought one more. But it was for a good cause. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's quickly get started. A few books I have already shown in different vlogs or different wrap ups. So I'll those books I'll talk shortly about. But I'll link that video up uh, to check it out. But anyway, let's get okay, started. So let me show you my current read which is also a new book this is my friends by hisham matar i bought this in kitab khana uh, a month ago probably and i've just started reading this about 3 to 4 days ago and i am really really enjoying it i'm actually loving it this is a story about friendships it is a story of revolution and i want to sit down and properly talk about this book but uh, i i will leave that for the wrap up for the purpose of this video this is a book about libyan students in the uk and uh, two of them uh, uh, become friends and they attend this uh, revel this protest at the embassy and uh, one incident kind of shapes their entire future and ties them together for the rest of their lives uh, and uh, it is just so beautifully written the plot is of course very gripping but the language is very very beautiful and you really feel like you are the character and i'm very much enjoying it i'm about halfway through and i hope to finish this in this upcoming week but yeah that's book 1 that i bought in kitab I had two, three different books that I have already finished reading, and I talked about it in my wrap up, which went up last week, hopefully. Um, so I'll link up, up, link the video up above. So I'll quickly uh, skip through them. First is Bookshops and Wonders by Travis Baldry. Book one, zero point five of the Legends and Latte series. Uh, this is a book about books, and also it's a cozy fantasy book. I loved this book. This was definitely one of my favorite reads for September, and I talk in detail about it in my wrap up, so you should check it out. Uh, I bought that on Amazon. Then I had bought this along with my friends in Kitab Khana, The Life Impossible by Matt Haig. This was one of my most anticipated books for 2024, but it turned out to be a sci-fi. magical realism book and because of that i was let down um but yeah this was another acquisition from the recent months then i have martyr by kave akbar i don't remember where i bought this but i'm pretty sure it is from one of the bookshops in bombay this also i finished in september and this is a book about an iranian american uh man in america who gets obsessed with the concept of martyrs and that leads him to unravel the mysteries of his past beautiful language it's written by a poet and very strong plot line which is just the best combination so that's martyr and moving on to a couple of books i had bought in trilogy i think i had blogged this which i'll link up above check out that blog the first one i tried reading this is rosarita by anita dixai this is a very short book this is about 100 pages and i got quite a Good ways into it. I put the I put the dust jacket on. Apologies for that. And I got <laughs> what I mean to say is I I think I got about three fourths into this book, but somehow I was just not hooked enough. I think maybe I will get back to this shortly. But this is about a woman who goes to Mexico to pursue her art career, and over there, uh, somebody runs into her who thinks that she is her mother. and she's unraveling the mysteries of her mother who's a typical indian woman who the daughter never really knew that she had this artistic bohemian past as well so yeah i i liked it i don't know why i i was just not vibing with it so i kept it down hopefully soon i will go back to this 
then this one i had picked up because i was going to prague this is parasol against the ash by helen oye yemi i tried reading this i really really did this is a, a stream of consciousness novel and wherein prague in itself is a main character i really enjoyed my time in prague prague was so beautiful but it was also very very crowded i made a vlog of that which i'll link up above do check it out i'm really enjoying putting out my travel vlogs as well but i have been unsuccessful in reading this i thought i'll read it in europe uh, because it's a europe book so i loved it all the way there and i just could not read more than a few pages of this I, my attention span when i'm on holiday is zero when it comes to like lit fic books <laughs> i just like reading about books about books i think but yeah hopefully soon i will get back to this prague book and then i can relate more because i've seen the city you know so yeah Uh, a random book i think about this in delhi from barisins this is dracula by bram stoker this is the classic that needs no introduction and i bought this to make a video um hopefully i will make it soon but i loved this edition in barisins it is this vintage collection if you can see there and it has a coat the blood is the life on the front and this really gothic looking print and then on the back as well it says save Save not what have not felt the vampire's lips upon your throat. So yeah, I really like this edition and the print is a little small. Not going to lie, but hopefully, okay, if you can see, <laughs> I will read this. I, I have the I have plans for this book. Another book I bought in Hyderabad at the Luna Bookstore. This is How to Say Babylon by Sophia Sinclair. Uh, it's shortlisted for the Women's Prize Nonfiction of 2024, and it is a Jamaican memoir. It is set in Montego Bay, where luxury hotels line pristine sand beaches, and then the author has grow, gr grown up guarding herself against an ever-present threat because her father is a believer in the militant sect of Rastafari. um and uh, to protect the purity of the women in his family he forbade all freedom so i found this very very interesting um and i just love that book story it has such a great collection i've never seen this book anywhere else and i am very interested in reading this i bought one more book but i think i left that at home in hyderabad so maybe i will show it to you at some point but this is a hyderabad acquisition moving on uh, through to my souvenir books i bought three books in europe um one book i bought in i uh, know two books i bought in uh, wait did i buy all these books in prague i think so uh. i bought all of them in prague and uh, but there are about different things the first one is how we survive communism and even laugh as levenka draculic this is a collection of essays by this novelist who uh, draws back the iron curtain for a glimpse at the lives of eastern Euro european women under communist regimes and it's supposed to be provocative witty and also very very personal it had really good reviews on goodreads when i had quickly seen and uh, yeah i just really liked it so this chronicles essentially life in communist country is post the fall of the berlin wall especially prague and i just felt like i needed to read this this i'm going to treat as a souvenir even though it's very pricey for a souvenir but yeah Uh, another book i picked up in shakespeare and company in prague is this brigitte raymond siblings this is the book this is set in gdr so east germany under communist rule and it is let me try to find the synopsis of it there is no synopsis of this i am screwed because i don't remember what it is about okay So this extraordinary novel reveals the fraught reality of life in socialist East Germany. The complex, prickly, funny tale of an idealistic young painter who is determined to stop her disillusioned brother fleeing a flash of color in a gray landscape. Yeah, it's a thin one. I had read a few pages and I was very much taken in by the setting. And once again, it's set in East Berlin, so I want to know. I I I want to know what it was about. So. Yeah, this is a book which is set in Berlin. So now I have another acquisition, but I bought it in Prague. So yeah, then another book that I bought in Prague. This is Franz Kafka, Country Doctor and Short Stories. This I bought in Prague Castle, ah, uh, in the Golden Lane where Kafka lived, ah, uh, for a period of time, and he had written this book over there as well. So they were selling this particular, ah. Uh, um edition of that so this says it's a prague edition and uh, yeah a keepsake of the times so 
three different kind of books but three very different books so yes then the three books that i bought in the flora fountain book market it was in my last vlog not many people have watched it but you have but if you want to please check it out very quickly going through it mario vargas losas the war of the end of the world this is a brazilian book and i have been looking to the for, look, I, i was i almost bought this author in a delhi bookshop but the book was very pricey but i got this at a reasonable rate it's very floppy as well which i love so that's one then i have indian summer by alex von tanzelman i have been trying to read this on script for the longest time and something about the ebook i i just lost interest quite quickly but i really want to read this so hopefully the physical book will help me and then donna tart the little friend because it's the only donna tart i have not read and uh, mixed reviews for this one but i am interested look at the eye <laughs> creepy okay and then the last couple of books the first one i bought during the amazon sale uh, sale this is the book of everlasting things by anchal malhotra this is the fiction book by anchal malhotra which came out i think around last year uh, i'd read uh, her book called for oh, one Remnants of the Separation, which is a partition book, uh, revolved around material memory, and I absolutely loved it. And I was in a book club meeting, and people were talking very highly about her fiction book as well. And I always knew about that that this book existed, but I was reminded, and then I saw, saw it on Amazon, and I felt that no place I had to order it. So this is set in Lahore and India, I think. Uh, again, this is a partition book. about two friends samir and firdaus and it is revolving around the perfume uh, it revolves around the perfume bazaar in anarkali bazaar in lahore uh, samir a hindu becomes indian firdaus a muslim becomes pakistani born by family and fate bound by family and fate torn between duty and desire as the two lovers move farther away from one another they must decide how much of their memories to hold on to i mean very interesting so i'm hoping to get to this quite soon but it's a chongster so let's see and then the last book i just bought yesterday this is book and boy and love by Dam- damodar mauzo and jerry translated by jerry pinto i got this book signed both by damodar mauzo and jerry pinto if you can see um because i was at this goa fest yesterday and both of them were speakers there and uh, they were selling these books at crossword and i bought it and i got it signed so this is a tender coming of age story of a boy who learns to love in a sleepy village in goa a strange and solitary childhood dominated by a father he grows up friendless until he learns to read vicariously whipin steps into high school and becomes a reluctant friend to two girls chitra sees the laughter hidden deep within him fatima brings chaos and joy with her and into whipin's life slowly as an identity separate from his cold and unloving family but can he ever overcome the loneliness that has seeped into him very very interesting they were talking about this book in the panel as well and just the way that they described it i really really was intrigued and looking forward to this book so yeah those are all the books that i have acquired in the last couple of months um quite a big haul but i have already made my way through four of them and i'm hoping to get to more and i'm hoping to get to all of these books so yeah anyway i'm hoping this is the last book haul that you see from me for a while um but i hope you enjoyed it if you're still here please like share comment subscribe and i will see you very very soon bye